look like a flower hippie child. So recently, I've been really into flower crowns and just flower accessories in general. So I was just thinking about different ways I could make this and I tried several ways. So first I tried to hot glue the stems of flowers together like this. And the thing is, this was a lot harder to do than I thought. So next I tried uh, like stringing them through a cord like this one. Um, as you can see this, I don't know, it doesn't, it looks kind of weird too. So I was like, well, okay, whatever. So here is what I came up with. This, this is just individual flowers hot glued onto a piece of string or I used twine and at the very end I tied each end of the string looped it into a hair elastic so you can kind of control um, how tight it is so here's what you're gonna need for this project you're gonna need fake flowers and um, I just happen to have a bunch of these at home but you can get these at Michaels or any craft store you're also going to need, um, what are these, wire cutters or scissors to cut the um, flowers off their stems. You're going to need some twine or, you know, something to attach the flowers to. Um, and you're also going to need a hot glue gun, which is warming for me right there. Ooh, it's already started to drip out a little. All right. Finally, you're going to need a small hair tie, preferably one that matches your head, your <laughs> head, matches your hair color. Okay, so the first thing to do is take your twine and measure the circumference of your head. Okay, I gotta take this off. Alright. So once you reach all the way around your head in whatever spot you would like to wear your crown, um, add a few inches. Because, you know, better be safe than sorry. And then we're just going to cut it. So now we got that. I'm going to take the flowers that I'm going to be working with and I'm going to pull them off. And if you just pull them off, you'll see that they come off pretty easily. Alright, so here are the flowers I'm going to be working with. And here is... Oops. What the? Where did I put my twine? Here it is. Alright. I've got my hot glue gun right here. I'm going to start. I'm going to put down my twine like this. I'm going to leave a few inches at the end for tying or whatever I end up doing with this. I'm going to start putting my first flower right here. See this little stubby stem right here? I'm going to chop that off with my wire cutters. There. Cuts off pretty easily. Now, you see this green thing on the back? I'm just going to peel that off. See? Comes off pretty easily, right? So, I'm going to lay it down. Lay that twine next to that green thing, right like that. Do you see that? And then I'm just going to dab a bit of hot glue right there. Just like that. Now just to secure it, I'm going to get that green thing that I just peeled off and stick it back on. And since the glue is going to be hot, I'm going to use my round nose pliers. Um, you can also use tweezers. Onto my second flower, I'm going to put it right next to the first one. So again, Gonna cut off the little stem, peel this thing off, and apply my hot glue. Just like that. And while the glue is still hot, put that green thing back on. Essentially, you are sandwiching the twine between the flower and the sepal. And there's our second flower. Whee! So basically do the same thing for along the length of the twine. When you get to the other end, remember to make sure to also leave some space.
garland is pretty much done. Uh, if I put it on my head, it reaches, it almost reaches all the way around. I don't know if you can see this, can you? So now it's time to start thinking about ways to um, close your headband. So the most obvious way, obviously, would be to just tie these ends together. And that actually works pretty well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a hairband on the back. Um, that way there's like an elastic so um, it will fit on your head a little better. It will be easier to put on because all you have to do is to slip it on. And also if you have a friend who has a really small head um, and you have a gigantic head, you can make this for her and it will still fit on you. Alright, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the end of my twine. I'm going to put the hair elastic through it and I'm going to tie a knot to secure it. So, knotting, knotting, yes. I'm going to double knot it just to be sure. 